How's it going guys? Kevin back at you with another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to repair a broken part or part that you think might not be working as well as it should be. So this is going to cover any of your snaps or latches. Um, not going to cover some of the clipless setups on like the base camp um, or the night runner where those are twist setups. But for any of the latching mechanisms um, like we have on the SCX 10.3 here, like early Bronco, similar to that. I'm going to show you guys in this video how you can heat up those parts and bend them back into shape so that they can keep working for many, many more months and years to come. So this is going to be applicable for uh, any of those latches like the VS410 Phoenix is one that I get uh, asked about. Um, a fair bit now that that's been out for a long, long time. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it on the SCX 10.3 JLU and the SCX 6, but this is gonna apply to any of those latching mechanisms. So with that, let's get into the video. All right, so if we look at this part, you can actually see that it's got a little bit of a bow to it there. So that's from me sort of using and abusing this as a test mule. Uh, this is after about seven months uh, of use and abuse. So don't expect your parts to necessarily get there that quickly, but if they do, I wanna show you guys a solution to make them last a lot longer. So this plastic's gonna get soft right around 70 C. So the nice thing is uh, your typical heat gun's gonna have no problem reaching that. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to heat this up and then bend it back into the place um, that we need and that's gonna help make it uh, basically as good as new again. So I'm gonna set the camera down, sort of show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm checking it. And then the nice thing part about this is put it on your truck and it's not far enough or you did a little bit too far you can always redo the same procedure um, sort of go back again just be careful not to overheat it um, you want to be careful and, and likely end up wearing gloves when you're doing this because you're gonna be touching a very hot part so with that let's get into it So what I'm doing is basically trying to heat up the center section because that's where most of this twist is actually showing up. Uh, and I'm holding the left side down so that way I can kind of gauge when this is going to start to get soft and make sure that I can tell when it's going to be uh, at the right angle. And again, the nice thing is if you do need to adjust it some more, you can just heat it back up and go set it back on your truck. So you can see it looks like the right side is already starting to soften up and tilt downward. So I'm going to switch hands here. Hold this side. There you go. That's what we want to see. It's starting to relax. I'm going to set my heat gun off. And basically I'm just going to hold it right here and just slowly sort of give it a little bit of a forward tilt. Just trying to make it nice and level and basically return it back to its original state without the bow. I'm just giving it a little bit of a forward tilt. One thing I can actually do too is sort of spin it around backwards and push on the back there. So you have to get creative depending on the part. Um, but again, this is mostly just due to a little bit of overuse and stress from uh, being a little bit too aggressive. Um, but you can see, starting to make some progress here. It's starting to harden up a little bit. So if we look at that part now, you can see there's actually a slight forward tilt to it now. And whereas before it was actually a little bit rearward. So this part is pretty much back to new. So we wanna obviously let this fully cool. Um, and then you can see if there's still a little bit of a slight curve there. Um, that's easy enough 
for us to just take out with the heat gun if we need to some more. Um, but this part is basically returned back to the as new state. So I'm super happy with that. Um, this is another example here. We'll show you on one of the smaller pieces. So you can see this part uh, I've used quite a lot. It's actually got sort of an upward twist to it um, and it's leaning back quite a bit. So again, similar process here. Gonna start like so. Slide this guy out of the way. Now, because this is a thinner part, you're gonna wanna be careful because it's gonna get softer much, much, fa much faster. So I'm just using that same technique of sort of setting it down on itself. I'm just sort of gonna let gravity a little bit do the work. I can see the left, the right side there is softening down. I'm gonna see the left side. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't wanna overdo it too much. I'm just gonna let that sort of soften in place. We're gonna hold that right about there so it's about nice and level. We're gonna try to let this set here. So it's still a little soft. And like I said, they, they start to get soft around 70 C. So if you had a really small uh, low temperature oven or a little curing chamber or something, you might be able to use that as well. So there we go. Look at that. That part is perfectly straight and ready to go back into the truck and get you many, many more months uh, of use and abuse. Uh, and you can always just go back and reset it unless you go a little bit too far and break it. So that is the nice thing about these plastics is you can essentially reset them. Um, expect there's gonna be a finite life to how many times you can reset it. Um, but so far I've had people using my parts for six, seven, eight, nine months now at this point. Um, and this is a nice little solution to allow you to sort of get additional life out of your part. Um, or if you know you do have a little accident and you're a little bit more aggressive with your part and you happen to sort of overstress it, um, the nice thing is it's not just gonna break, it's gonna have this sort of plastic deformation first, um, and then you can kind of recover this um, with a little bit of heat and sort of reset it into that back, uh, that original straight part, um, just like that. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys next time.